let's go and we have mage so we get the bloodlust this we're gonna orb those ads always spawn kind of right there is and uh so try to spend as many ice lances as you can but you will have to flurry your glacial spike and you, and you really want to get those into race and not miss the opportunity you don't want to overcap your your icicles too much to where you're losing actual cast on race it will give you cooldown reduction on frozen orb and frozen orb will empower your blizzard to do more damage and be instant cast and in that instant cast and do more damage window you can fit in two blizzards when you're lusted maybe three of them, right um you know maybe not even close but maybe and to note about your water elemental we don't like have that as a buddy anymore he just comes when you icy bane and one of the previous strategies was to use the elemental i uh, use the slash pet move to to put him on the glyph soap the rune soap right to prevent the thing from beyond to spawn you can't do that anymore you could say go stand on it hit icy veins and then let the thing soak the rest of it but it spawns player adjacent and i don't really know maybe back to the right uh not really worth it just soak your own things use ice block if you get in a dicey situation but you should really have plenty of options and you can even get more you can get that ice nova spell you can get uh, ring of frost right purple frost the one that freezes targets that they've used in mogashan and again karen when he gets right up to you he does give you a second so sometimes those those polys can get real scary it's like he looks at you and his swing timer for that uppercut is like a second and a half or something he gives you a second to pray to Isfall. And just like you see us doing in Boomy and Shadow Priest, so we have mirrors out. That's why those things didn't absolutely ruin my day. Honestly, at the time, I think I didn't realize that I did have the mirrors out still. But these runes are always going to spawn from here to about you know 10 feet to the right to about 40 feet to the left. Like It's all that little band that's on this side, which is the east side of Race. And so here... Again, we're not killing Karim, but we're just going to continue CCing him. And you do want to alternate. You don't want to, like, Nova him and then Nova him again. And then we're I mean, not going to have a third Nova, right? But you want to kind of alternate your, your styles of CC. So after I get a full Nova, if he's separated from the pack, you get a poly on him, like a full poly. is really nice. But certainly it's better than letting him hit you in the face. For the most part, he's going to be stuck with the group, and separating him can be more of a hassle. So you just kind of push him naturally. We polyed him for like one second in there. And I'm ignoring this hand now. We kicked it. And now we're, I guess that's what the poly was. We were, we were looking at the hand, not his location. And I'm thinking I can do 30k damage. I absolutely cannot do 30k damage for the next cast. So we ice block the cast. Boom. And then we are out. We have to go soak this hand. I don't even see the hand. When I'm doing this, you know, I remember, I still don't see it till like right here. Then he's, you can take three melees though. One put me at 35, well, literally. But that's Frost Mage. I want to thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not currently subscribed. Subscribed and share this video with any friends that play Warcraft. See you in the next one, folks.